Hello, Paul. Didn't think I'd make this video, did you, buddy? Well, you were wrong. I saw what you were saying on YouTube about the migrant crisis in Europe. Just because you have a map doesn't make you smarter. I have a map. Look, okay? America, Canada, the greatest country on the planet, thanks to Trudeau, because he's a feminist and he's proud of it and he's not afraid to admit it, like some people, who I won't name. I'm a feminist and I'm proud of it. You know, everyone's talking about grow some testicle, grow some balls. I say grow some ovaries, asshole. You say that you're against, you know, rape and things like that. <laughs> you're an idiot is what you are. If you were against rape, you'd be for feminism because feminism stops rape. More women, less rape. Women give birth to people. Men give birth to rape. You're a dumbass, Paul. Just because you have a map doesn't make you smart, okay? Just because you've got followers doesn't make you smart. I've got followers. Do I know everything? No, I don't. I don't claim to know everything, but I do know I know more than you. <laughs> Asshole. We don't need borders, okay? We need to allow more migrants into every country. I don't believe in borders in general, all right? I'm what you call an equalist. I'm a feminist and an equalist. I'm an equalist in the, in the sense that everyone should be treated equal. We don't need a wage gap, which we have right now. No thanks to the patriarchal society that we live in, thanks to men like you and Gavin McKenzie. Who had the audacity to moon me on his show today, showed his bare ass to me. You know, check that out if you get a chance. That's a symbol for your men, mooning people and acting like a bunch of dumbass animals. That's what men do, all right? Just because I'm not your, you know, old fashioned woman doesn't mean I can't be a symbol for women everywhere as well. All right, I'm a male and I, I'm a proud feminist. I'm a male feminist and I'm proud of it. People call me a white knight. I don't care what you call me. I'm right. And you're wrong. You are nothing but Alex Jones's bitch. He's your boss and you've been drinking way too much of his Kool-Aid. Have you gone to his channel lately? All he talks about is football. Go to ESPN. Don't try to tell the world how it should work. All he gives a shit is about his stupid little conspiracies and thinking the world's run by uh, aliens and shit. He's a dumbass! He is psychotic. I mean, literally, he's your boss, Paul? Are you that stupid? Look at him. And then look at yourself. Look at him, look at yourself. Look at him, and then look at yourself! You take orders from a dumbass. What does that make you, Paul? Huh? Tell me! So don't ever, don't, I don't, I never want to hear the word America come out of your mouth again. You shouldn't be talking about my country. One of the greatest countries on the planet. You know, we just need someone like Trudeau. We need Trudeau running for president. You know, not Cruz. If any, if any Canadian is going to run for the, the, the POTUS, it should be the man himself, the, the feminist who's proud of it, Trudeau. If Trump's in office, I might move to Canada. I'm just saying. So, Paul, I'm waiting for your rebuttal. Though you won't have one because you're a dumbass, Paul. A dumbass. That's all you are. So go drink some more Kool-Aid and sip from that crazy pool that you got going. I know what a crazy person looks like when I see one, okay? There's a bunch of them subscribed to my channel. Don't disagree with me. <sighs> I'm done. All right, I may have not seen a billion crazy people, but I have met many. I'm not seeing them now, but I'm done. Goodbye!